Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. After a couple of socially and politically inspired videos, I thought I'd get back to some health and fitness topics that can improve your lives. Uh, I was intrigued by a new paper that I just discovered and I wanted to share it all with you. Uh, it is something that we can all benefit from uh, because who wants to uh, look or feel old, basically, despite the number of years that we've already been on this planet. And this doesn't require any expensive pills or potions or uh, medical procedures to achieve. Last month, a paper was published in the journal Preventative Medicine, which was based on the data gathered from 5,823 adults, ages 20 to 84, who participated in the 1999 to 2002 National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. This current study specifically examined the relationship between amount of exercise and telomere length. As I've explained before, telomeres are like the protective caps at the end of shoestrings that keep them from unraveling except telomeres are found at the end of your chromosomes. Their job is to protect your chromosomes from deterioration uh, and ultimately prevent cellular aging, diseases, and death. However, over time, and for a variety of reasons including smoking, drinking, lack of physical activity, obesity, stress, exposure to pollution, and simply aging, telomere ends become shorter. And I've discussed all of this on this channel before as anti-aging is an area of interest of mine. You see, I don't just want to look good. I also want to feel and perform amazingly. And I want all of you to enjoy those benefits as well. What this paper found was that the more exercise you get, the longer your telomere length. And the effect of relatively high amounts of exercise results in molecular rejuvenation that's equivalent to dropping nine years. In other words, if you're 40, you can look and feel at the very least like you're in your early 30s again. Uh, it is also worth noting that the results from this study uh, were corrected for age and gender and education, alcohol and smoking and BMI. Uh, so not only was the sample size quite large, but the study itself was well controlled. To quote the study's author, American sports scientist Larry Tucker, just because you're 40 doesn't mean you're 40 years old biologically. We all know people who seem younger than their actual age. Just something to keep in mind as we all inevitably age. So forget the number and instead do right by yourself and fight the years with healthy lifestyle choices like exercising regularly. Besides, stressing out over the climbing of the years is counterproductive to anti-aging efforts anyways. Anyhow, please drop some comments below and discuss and share your thoughts thoughts and ideas. Also, please like and share this video so that others may find it and benefit from it. Uh, finally, hit the subscribe and the bell buttons to keep on top of my weekly updates. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.